Was there a nuclear weapons accident at Dutch Air Force Base? This is the kind of stuff that makes you question humanity's ability to handle technology. Some guy found a photo in a Los Alamos National Laboratory student briefing from 2022 showing four people inspecting what looks like a damaged B-61 nuclear bomb. Oh, you know, just another casual day at the office. The document doesn't say where or when it happened, but apparently the photo was taken inside a protective aircraft shelter at Volkel Air Base in the Netherlands. Hold your horses because there's no official confirmation that this was a real accident. It could have been a training exercise, like an intense game of pin the tail on the nuclear bomb. However, it turns out to be true. However, if it turns out to be true, it would be the first publicly known case of a recent nuclear weapons accident in Europe. In U.S. Air Force, they don't call it an accident, they call it a bent spear incident. You know, because a bent spear sounds way less terrifying than an actual than an actual nuclear accident. It's like calling a heart attack a little chest discomfort. It's not a secret that the U.S. Air Force deploys nuclear weapons in Europe, but it's a secret where they are deployed. Vokel Air Base has stored B-61s for decades, and it's one of six air bases in Europe where the U.S. Air Force currently deploys around 100 B-61 nuclear bombs in total. The United States is modernizing its air-delivered nuclear arsenal, and Vokel and other air bases in Europe are scheduled to receive the new B-61-12 nuclear bombs. I'm sure everyone just thrilled about that. The photo itself shows a damaged B-61 nuclear bomb strapped to a trolley, looking like it's about to be taken for a joyride. The cause of the damage is unknown, but it could have been a vehicle hit or a weapons elevator mishap. The image appeared in Los Alamos National Laboratory student briefing that described the mission of the Accident Response Group, ARG, which is to provide worldwide support to the Department of Defense in resolving incidents and accidents involving nuclear weapons or components in Department of Defense custody at the time of the event. You know, just a casual job description. We've got this photo that could be from a real nuclear accident, but there's no concrete information to prove it. The mystery continues, folks. The good news is that even though it was a, even though if it was a real accident, nuclear detonation is highly unlikely thanks to one-point safe designs. But let's be real, it's still pretty disconcerting to think about how close we might be to a nuclear mishap. So the photo itself has come with some interesting details, like the two individuals inspecting the damage wearing EOD, Explosive Ordnance Disposal shoulder pads. You know, the guys you call in when there's a bomb at a birthday party or when you need to disarm a ticking time bomb in your neighbor's garage. There's a person on the left overseeing the operation, holding a folder with red dotted color markings, similar to the patterns seen on classified documents that have been declassified and released under the Freedom of Information Act, FOIA. The civilian on the right is probably from one of the nuclear weapons labs, like Los Alamos or Sandia. After all, who better to poke at a damaged nuclear bomb than a scientist who knows what they're doing? Well, let's hope they do. About the location of the photo, there's nothing in the image or document that confirms it was taken at Volkhill Air Base, but some internet sleuths claims that features from other photos taken inside protective aircraft shelters, PSA, PSA, PASs, at the base match the ones in the accident photo. So it's basically like playing Where's Waldo with nuclear weapons. Fun times. Nuclear accident management is a big deal, and there are national and bilateral arrangements in place to manage accidents and incidents involving U.S. nuclear weapons at foreign bases. The 1954 Status of Forces Agreement, SOFA, regulates the stationing of U.S. armed forces in the Netherlands. But the Dutch government has been pressing for greater consultation in the Netherlands, United States Operational Group, NUSOG, a special bilateral coordinating body established to manage U.S. nuclear weapons accident response plans, procedures, training, and exercises. Although a nuclear detonation from an accident is unlikely, the detonation of chemical high explosives in the weapon could scatter the plutonium and other radioactive materials. That means if there's an accident inside a vault 
or shelter, it could potentially have local effects, while pollution from the crash of a cargo aircraft carrying several weapons could be a lot more extensive. What have we learned from this possible nuclear fiasco? For one, we've discovered that we can't trust everything we see in a photo, especially when it comes to sensitive information like nuclear incidents, accidents. The world of military secrecy is full of twists and turns, leaving all of us on the edge of our seats wondering what's real and what's not. But let's focus on the positives. Despite the uncertainty surrounding the image, it has brought attention to the importance of nuclear safety and the precautions in place to prevent catastrophic accidents. After all, we're only human and accidents happen. But when it comes to nuclear weapons, there's no room for error. And hey, if nothing else, we've learned that the people responsible for handling nuclear weapons are pretty good at their jobs. The fact that nuclear accidents are so rare is a testament to their dedication and skill. So let's give a round of applause to the men and women working tirelessly to keep our world safe from nuclear disaster. On a lighter note, this whole situation might make a fantastic plot for a movie or TV show. Picture it, an international team of experts racing against time to uncover the truth behind a mysterious photo of a damaged nuclear bomb, all while navigating a web of military secrecy and government intrigue. It's got all the makings of a blockbuster hit. Whether this photo is real or not, it serves as a valuable reminder of the importance of maintaining strict safety protocols around nuclear weapons. While chances of a nuclear accident are slim, it's essential to always be prepared for the unexpected. Let's hope that military forces around the world continue to prioritize safety and security when it comes to these powerful and potentially devastating weapons.